Uh, play of the game from way down. One, two, silence. The Rainer getting absolutely a team wipe. The living bombs going. Oh my goodness, the ring. Bob says they go gonna find Rainer. Lifefinder keeps Maya up. It was gonna be a close thing. And he like, what? Get out of no! No! Triple stun again. Big flanks coming out from the uh, blaze. It's a death metal though. Death yeah. metal into oh, the double my. triple kill. Hello and welcome back everybody to the NGS Rewind. The show where we catch up on some of the matches that did not get cast earlier in the week. I'm your host, Arrow, and I'm joined by Recyclic. Hi, everyone. I'm back again. Welcome back, Recyclic. Oh, thanks, Dan. Thank you, Arrow. It's good to be back. Glad to have you. So we are now going to see another Div A game. This one between Team Training Wheels and Regen Retro. Oh, I know people on both of those teams. Indeed. So uh, let's uh, let's take a quick peek at the maps, shall we? Now these, for whatever reason, these uploads uh, didn't quite make it through to the hero's profile, so I'm not able to, you know, tell you guys the bands. I can't tell you who picked the maps, uh, but I can show you the map bands. Oh, and so okay. what we have for that, Team Training Wheels had banned out the uh, Cursed Hollow and uh, Sky Temple, and Regen Retro banned out Altrek Pass and Towers of Doom. Our first map is going to be on Infernal Shrines. Oh, hey, Infernal Shrines. I think I know that map. It's not played that much as far as I know, but... I think it's know. the second most played map. I think Tomb of Spider... Yeah, I think Tomb oh, of okay. Spider Queen is the most played. All right. So. Well, Infernal's cool, though. It's one of my favorites, so that's fun. I'm not going to yell at people. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get started here in the uh, in the game. I'm waiting for it, Rick. <gasps> Chat can't see this yet, by the way. Oh, they don't oh, know what's coming. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Oh, but they're getting to see your oh, reaction to it. They, they know something oh, spicy's coming. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to introduce the left team here. Yeah. And let's go ahead and let me zoom over here. <laughs> On the left, we have Team Training Wheels. Representing Team Training Wheels, we have uh, Taco Cat on... A Wait, did I put those? Are they on the other side? They are on the other side. Hold on, let me swap. You can, you can do... Uh, Team oh, training I'll wheels. do Regen Retro. Oh, Team Training Wheels, rather? Pick, okay. pick, pick one. Whichever one All right, you want. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do Team Training Wheels then. All right, so it's going to be Taco Cat playing Yebather, uh Furiosa on uh, Alex Traza, Ramen playing Sonya, T Big Tony is going to be on Chen, and Firehawk on Probius. <laughs> All right, and on the left, we have Regen Retro. Chen going down before I can even introduce teams. Hate to see it. <laughs> Uh, on the left here, so Zamibar's gonna be playing the Garrosh, Greymane gonna be played by Masama, Deltron on Uther, Aaron on Leoric, and Ultanian on Jaina. Yep, 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 yep. When was the last time you saw a, uh, a Probius uh, in a competitive in a, game? In a Storm League game, uh, one of my last ones, again, on, I was against one, and we lost to it miserably, because my team would either overreact to him, or underreact to him. We would either send five guys or nobody. So, five guys. They've got some pretty good burgers too. I just went there on Friday. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, we oh. do see here Regen Retro coming in with the uh, camp invade here, surrounded on either side by the Probius, Chen, and Alex Straza. But that's going to be a nice, easy, comfortable pickup from them. Uh, and you know they're playing a bit aggressive on this because it's an Abathur comp and. That's how you have to play against an avatar comp. Get as much value oh. early in the game as you possibly can. Yeah, dude, that looks like fun. Um, hmm. The old, the old camp invade. And you know what? It's funny because 
with a Probius, it takes forever to maybe set up against it, you know? Like, if you invade early enough, Probius just doesn't do anything against it. And I'm gonna be brutally honest, I don't know too much about the character. I have him at, like, level 10, but that doesn't mean I know anything. Um... Pretty much, basically, you know, as he's setting up his pylons, they take way too long to really uh, allow him to do anything in the process, because he basically relies on them, more or less. Abathur, on the other hand, is a pretty good hero on this map, and in general, like, so uh, that's nice, but uh, Probius, man. <laughs> oh, it is... Happy. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he sets up um, with his zones and uh, mm. everything on these points here. So the, the first Punisher is going to be mid lane. Uh, that's going to be a Mortar Punisher here. And we do see a little bit of a, a Mind Bush here in the middle. We'll yeah, see how much, how much value that gets. Is this Mind Build? No. Okay. No, it's not. I, I'm, a, I'm a liar. So You are a liar. I am... My pants are on fire, Arrow, mm. because I'm a liar, and yeah, I'm okay, a... yeah. So uh, talents here. So with the Uther, you know, going into the Hammer of the Lightbringer, um, nearly complete here. Groundbreaker for uh, Garrosh as well. But you know, some interesting talents on the side of Team Training Wheels with the uh, Alex Raza going into. Flames of Fury, getting that cooldown mm -hmm. reduction. Yep. Even uh, it's though, a nice uh, cooldown reduction for her Dragon Queen, yeah. And Tough as Nails for Sanya, getting that physical uh, armor as well. But we're going to see the throw onto Sonya and Chen there. Double double stun from Garrosh. Well, it's not a stun. It's a yeah, slow. there was a stun. Well, it stunned Sonya, but it didn't stun Chen VP. It slowed him. I would disagree, considering he has three stacks now and he had one stack before. Oh, so. I'm sorry. I thought you meant the throw. I'm, like I said, it's been a long day, Arrow. You're gonna have to excuse me. No worries. So uh, Uther chasing down Tony there, trying to catch up and and get that damage, but uh, not able to get anywhere there. The healing with Alex Raz keeping him well topped up, but Proby is getting jumped and slammed, oh. and the Mortar MVP Punisher. You know what's funny, Arrow? I said this the other day to Murda. M Mortar Punisher might be my new favorite. It does an alarming amount of damage to players if they're not careful. Um, and as you can see there, Mr. Punisher uh, did exactly that. Kind of just pooped on that little probe. So, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of like they have their own uh, stun CC combo going on the, uh, the leap, followed up by the big burst of... Uh, mortars and the mortar punisher did get a buff so those mortars do a significant amount of increased damage too yes yes they do all um, right well sonia pushing against leora cup here in the top lane but we have a essentially a 4v4 push counter push in the bot lane including the abathur if you want to include him i would kind of, i always considered him so at least for now his actual body is here though it is so it is a 4v4, you're right, he could scratch people. People say he slaps people. I think he scratches them. I mean, you do you, buddy. Yeah. Dude's only got three fingers. I don't know how many scratches he's getting out of that, but it could happen. That means he's a demon? A demon? You know what they say, those, like three scratches on someone means there's a demon. Um, checking out top lane again really quick. Uh, Sony is really pushing into this, and not a whole lot Aaron can do, I guess other than wait for this wave to come. But uh, mid lane is getting a lot of push with that single Kazra sitting at 10 health, and he's going <laughs> to die in just a second because Firehawk rotated up. But um, right now, I would say outside of just the top lane, uh, Regen Retro has map control. Yeah, certainly. And, you know, level 10 coming up for both teams here soon. So we're going to see a little bit of a different game with the uh, Abathur. Um, what do you think we're going to see out of Probius for um, an ultimate? Hmm. I mean, against this composition, you know, against uh, Regen Retro, I would assume it's going to be the uh, Pylon Overcharge and not the Null Gate, because actually... Garrosh basically ignores it for himself and can throw people, his teammates, out of it. So 
I really don't think it's Nullgate. It's but, Nullgate! Um, oh! oh! I, love it. I was really hoping it was gonna be Nullgate. I was hoping it'd be Nullgate too, but I didn't think it would be. Let's just say that. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how that plays out here because, uh, you know, on this map especially, there are a lot of narrow places uh, coming into the shrines. You can only come in from so many directions, so we'll see how he positions those. Yeah. Oh, hey, Arrow, by the way, uh, I don't know if you noticed that clone was in fact used by Abathur, but it doesn't matter because Chen dies. Yeah, Chen getting thrown, even with the stagger there, just that? getting Ready fully blown fire. up. And Taco Cat, thanks for the follow of the Nexus Gaming Series. Hey, look at that. I know that name. And uh, if you guys are interested in some of the other casts while we're waiting on these teams to kind of deal with push and get in the sieges of the uh, shrines, uh, feel free to stop by uh, my actual regular Twitch at twitch.tv slash arrow of the storm or uh, Recyclic. He plays games sometimes at yeah, Recyclic. Sometimes they do. Yeah, and I'm thinking about maybe I'll start streaming my Switch soon. Maybe, maybe. There but here go. we go. A big taunt coming out on top of two players. A Ring of Frost follows up as well. And Alex Ross pops for Dragon Queen. Uh, here come the Chen VPs. And they actually get a Garrosh out of it, uh, Team Training Wheels does. So 37 so far uh, for Regen Retro. Um, so they only need a uh -oh. few. They could potentially get them, especially with the Jaina, but they have to put themselves in a bit of danger to do it. They only get one. Deltron might fall here, and he does. Yeah, I think they might have been, Regen Retro might have been getting a little too ambitious. Masama getting very low. He probably rotated in, maybe looking for just those two, but couldn't find them. And he actually got them with a cocktail. Uh, at what cost, though? They are two players down. Yeah. Arcane Punisher, it'll get some damage, um, but they're going to be able to clear it fairly quickly. But you know what? At, at least they're not I defending think it's a denial. it. Yeah, yeah, they're not it's defending it with people dead. Level 13 coming up here for um, Team Training Wheels. Yeah, here it comes. Show me the money. And there it is. There it is, the money. So... Going extra deep into the, uh, the the clone target for Abathur, giving the extra spikes and the healing, um, also giving that additional range for uh, the stab. Is that what it's called? Stab? Yeah, just stab. Sure is. Stab. S simply called stab. <laughs> 13 now available here for regen retro as well, and they're setting up to be, to, to maybe invade this camp here. And I think they're looking to to try to gank, but they, training wheels not taking that, the bait. Yeah, they're hoping for an a rotation from T training wheels, but I think T training wheels kind of knows it looks like almost. And there it is. They get a flip onto Tony and a big taunt as well, but not before he pops his uh, stagger, which is unfortunately not enough to keep him alive. Uh, actually, uh, not Dragon Queen, but the cleansing flame. Uh, cleansing flame. Thank you. Coming out and finishing off Jaina along with Abathur help. Um, but Sonya dies as well, so it's a two for one, I believe. Yeah, two for yeah, one. Yeah, two for one. In favor of Regen Retro. Mm -hmm. And now that they've got these two kills, what what value can they get? They right now they can't really. They have to deal with the pressure that's already mounted in top lane. They are trying to get the soak in the bot lane and and maybe get some damage here on this bottom fort. But this minion wave is going to get blown up almost instantly by uh, Probius here. Mm hmm. You know what's funny, Arrow, is uh, Jaina's quest, Ultanian on Jaina's quest, I think went from 3773 to 7373. Ooh. Which is very silly, but that's just, that's just, I like numbers. <laughs> All right, well, Garrosh again has the, uh, oh, the Chen in his sights, but not able to get it. No, and actually being slowed quite a bit by Nullgate, keeping him in place. It gets a taunt onto three. But it doesn't matter because here comes the big old dragon, and because oh. she keeps getting these procs, and Uther actually paying the ultimate price. Uh, that's yeah. the difference of Elixstraza E build, I suppose. And he paid that price because of the entomb. I I don't know that he necessarily would have made it out anyways, but certainly uh, not able to get out of that friendly entomb. Is that a meme bag, Ektar? Can't quite tell what that is. 
Uh, but the camp invade coming in from training wheels here onto the shaman camp. Uh, Greymane having to dive away is low enough that he just couldn't really stick around for that. And uh, a Aaron coming in, checking out that camp, checking to see who all was there, but making his way out pretty quickly once he saw the, uh, the Chen posted up. Yep, yep. It is a bag of memes. Interesting. Legion Retro opting to push bottom. I think they might be giving this up, Arrow. This objective, that is. Uh, it does seem that way, so... I mean, here's the thing, right? They have a Grey Mane and a Jaina. They can siege pretty well. And despite playing against an Abathur, like... Oh, there seemed to be a little bit of a miscommunication there, actually. They were... A couple of players were backing off, but Garrosh was moving forward. Sammy Bears, Bars, excuse me, on Garrosh, that is. They're going to go ahead and back off, maybe get this protection against the Frozen Punisher coming towards their keep. So it'll be interesting to see how much value that provides them. They are going to get the Catapult pressure, you know, but they've got an Abathur in the bottom lane that can help to counter that. Um, and this is a Frozen Punisher now, so being able to lock down the structures here... Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Alex Charles' Dragon Queen is up in 30 seconds, although that can be lowered using... Bill. Um, but a big fight popping out below in the mid lane, actually, and I don't think anything's going to go happening there anytime soon. Nothing more than a couple of ults going out, but those are probably pretty important ults uh, for what Retro wants to do here. There's the mm -hmm. Entomb that isolates the or separates the team here. Storm Earth and Fire coming out, big taunt, but it's going to be Leo and Garrosh, oh, and by the way, also uh, Uther Ultanian is about to go down as well. And all of a sudden now, this this push is looking like it could be game with those oh, kills. Right yes. <laughs> I think this is game arrow with a, a hat Abathur Chen combo nation. Um, <laughs> I think this is it, Arrow. And the old Probius and E build Alex Straza wins it again. There you go. Probius, 100% win rate for all of the games that I've cast in NGS, at least. Oh, man. That made me very happy. All right. What do you think about these talents, Rick? Let me see. Um, hmm. I don't love personally uh, Hammer of the Lightbringer like as a main healer, Uther. But I mean, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because they have the front line with Sonya and Chen. Eh. And I suppose that with an Abathur clone, um, that makes it an additional third frontliner because every time it was Sonya as the uh, clone target, so. I suppose that helps. Uh, Hammer of the Lightbringer is typically, yes, used against frontline or melee characters, I should say. So, um, I don't 100% agree, necessarily. I, I don't know. I, I just think there's a better character to pick than Uther. Um, other than that, though, uh, hmm. <laughs> well, and keep in mind, too, we don't know when they drafted. Uh... Yeah, and yeah, like you said, yeah, right. The, the draft was, um, we don't know what it was. <laughs> right. So... Everything could have been banned. Who knows? It could have been an all healers one. Uh, I did see Mithril Mace in there, which is pretty cool. I saw that as well. Yeah, given that auto attack uh, speed, right? That's what that ultimately yeah. does. Eventually. As you get kills, yeah. Yep, yep. Well, let's go ahead and get set up for game number two here. So game number two is taking place on Tomb of the Spider Queen. And I think... I think they might have even switched sides. That's going to be annoying. No, that's okay. We're going to see some familiar faces here. Uh, I'll let you know in a second if I see anything s extra spicy like another Probius, but it doesn't look like it. No, these are, uh, these are a little bit more standard drafts for a place like Tomb of the Spider Queen. Okay. One uh, kind of unique face, but not outside of the realm of normal, I would say. All right, let me check this out. 
Uh, tell Sprinklet that Uncle Arrow says hello. Uncle Arrow. It's yeah. uh, Mr. The Storm, excuse you. <laughs> Alright, well, game number two is all set up. This is on Tomb of the Spider Queen here. And we'll find out pretty quickly if they're on the wrong side. <laughs> Are you dancing to my music, Rec? I'm just dancing. Can you hear my music? Uh, no. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> but I was dancing. Rex dancing to his own music. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this is a Tank Zool game, I suppose. Oh, spoilers. Oops. That's okay. They're going to see it in 20 seconds. Yeah. I, I would show it on the, the loading screen. I just don't want to show the timer. So, all right. Of course, of course. Um, and let's make sure, are they on the right sides? So, yes, Retro is on the left. Yep, okay. All righty, Rec, take it away. Who are you introducing? Uh, who did I introduce last time? I suppose I introduced TTW. I'll do it again. All right, so TTW, Team Trading Wheels. That's going to be Taco Cat on Stuka, Ramen playing Sonia, Firehawk on Zool, Big Tony on Greymane, and Furiosa on uh, Alex Reza. All right, and for Regen Retro, we have Masama on Gul'dan, Aaron on Chen, uh, Deltron on Tyrande, Ultanian on Sylvanas, and Zamibars on ETC. Cool. <laughs> I just got a I just got a text uh, that uh, Sprinklet, who was mentioned in chat, is watching the stream. <laughs> Uncle Travis, I love him. Aw, you love Aww. it. Power slide hey. in onto Ramen, though, is going to be able to make it out with the Alex Straza healing. And uh, so once again, we're going to see Alex Straza going into that E build uh, for the Dragon Queens. Cool. What do you think about this level one for uh, Stukov? What do you say? Um, I think it's OK. Fun? It did get buffed recently. Uh, not super recent, but fairly recent. Um, I used to love it, and then I was like meh about it. And now I kind of like it again. Um, it's really nice if you can get, if you pick it with targeted the six or net seven, uh, especially. Excuse me. So, as long as I see targeted decision, I think it's fine. All right, fair enough. So, Zul doing double soaking duty and, uh, being matched by the Gul'dan. But let's, you know, let's just take a look at what the XP numbers look like here so far. And Gul'dan a little bit behind on the XP compared to the Zul, but that's uh, because Chen's helping out in the mid lane as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So collectively, I think Gul'dan ha and uh, Chen have a slight edge, ever so slight, on Zul. So it kind of like works out. Yep. Ramen uh, going in deep on that wall. Yeah, and unfortunately for ETC, he misses power slide, but it doesn't matter because actually uh, Deltron on Tehran gets the stun follow up or follow up the raw stun with the lunar flare and uh aaron on chen finishing the kill so good for region retro there uh nice pickup their bottom lane was kind of getting hurt a little bit there quite a bit but now they can alleviate the pain a bit with the dead player yeah Ektar coming in with the stats of the storm update showing that uh infernal shrines is actually the most picked map in ngs by a significant number, 173 games. Tomb of the Spider Queen, number two at 108, with Volskaya at 106. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Also want to shout out MH1989 uh -oh. for the uh, follow. But here we've got this invade coming in. Ultanian getting just obliterated there. And uh, Zul blocking the way. <sighs> That's the ETC difference, baby, right there. But unfortunately for Ultanian... They could not make it out in time, so, hmm. So one for one so far in this game on kills, but the Siege Camp was picked up by Team Training Wheels. Yep, yep. Siege Camp was found. They sent all five players down, though, so that means they missed out on quite a bit of soak. But since this is a Zul, uh, Firehawk playing Zul here, uh, that kind of allows for, you know, a much easier double soaking uh, at any point in the game, one of the better double soakers in the game. So, you know, it can be easily made up for. And we see him uh, getting pretty significant push in the top lane there. 
uh, which Chen rotating up to try to help clear that. 14 gems turned in so far by uh, Regen Retro. Yeah. Um, let's see. Hmm. Regen Retro does have their turn in ready to roll, so let's see if they can find a way to turn in sometime soon. Well, it looks like that's what they're trying to do right now is they've got Taronda and Sylvanas working on their bruiser camp. Although Gul'dan has uh, a pretty significant number of gems with 21 here. We might see Zul trying to stall this out. I think we did see Alex Draza, yeah, I was going to say trying to stall it out, but uh, missed on the first attack, got it with the second. Ah, okay. Well, Alterac has 51 plays. That's 51 more than I was hoping. <laughs> and you know what? 51 of those games are won by either the blue team or the red team. I bet you didn't know that. Ugh. Hate that map with a passion. Uh oh, a nice uh, power slide and a looter flare follow up onto Taco Cat, who goes dying immediately afterward. Good job on Zami Bars to find that kill. And now with his Bruiser Camp, we're seeing the turn. In there we go. I was going to say, I want to see the rest of these gems turned in. So the yeah. Regen Retro picking up the first Web Weavers of the game just at about five minutes. Now the interesting thing is I wonder, since they go up in their uh, stats by minute, I wonder if they're counted based on when you turn them in, or when they spawn, or when they start traveling. Wait, the, the timer's on them? Uh, no, not the timers. They're actual like health and damage scaling. I just wonder. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I that thought works. it was game related, like the game itself, but mm, or the match. You know? Yeah, we'll come back to that. So, we'll Greymain V Chen up here. Aaron popping that stagger early, so he's drinking away, trying to mitigate the damage coming from the Greymain. But uh, Firehawk onto the Sylvanas does get the root and silence coming in as well, but uh, not able to haunting wave away as that root coming in. But Greymain getting the damage onto Chen. Sending him away. Yeah, Ektar, that's what I was figuring. Is probably based on when you actually oh. get the turn. So, Sonia trying to find an engage onto Sylvanas, but couldn't quite find it there. Well, she did, but Sylvanas managed to just simply scream away. <laughs> so we see the the pings coming out here from Team Training Wheels. They want to get their Bruiser Camp uh, as quickly as possible here, so that they can do the same thing get value out of that bruiser camp and uh, get the turn. And we see the XP for a moment there was slightly in favor of retro. Um, but now with Zul pushing up in the top lane, clearing this out, you know, that's a lot of XP that uh, retro could miss out on. Yeah, potentially. I, eh. They caught eh. it. They got it, yeah. Yeah, the, the shots going to the skeletons actually favored retro because of that. Um, <laughs> But we do have 43 out of 50 turned in for Team Training Wheels. Never mind, that's the rest of Sonya getting her turn in. And uh, here comes level 10 for Team Training Wheels as well. Here it comes indeed. And Red Rebel Weavers are actually pushing as well too. So this, is gonna be, this could potentially be a huge push from Team Training Wheels here. Any particular reason why? Oh, I don't know. I think maybe because of Zul, and maybe because there's a dead Masan. Yeah, um, having a dead Gul'dan is going to be a problem, but they do get the uh, the Wailing Arrow onto Tony, so slowing down his damage, Cleansing Flame going out, and uh, Deltron in danger is going to be pretty well instantly blown up. Zoltanian almost getting caught by the spider's wave there. And I don't suddenly, know if you saw, there was one Cleansing Flame that was gonna hit Ultanian there and would've gotten the kill, but he teleported away just in time. Nice. I did not see that. Oh, I I just saw it on the, uh, the delay on my tablet. <laughs> it came up right at that exact moment. So two forts, almost three forts now for uh, Team Training Wheels out of this initial push. Mm -hmm. And by the way, they're not the ones with Sylvanas. No, they aren't, but they do have Azul, who is similar in that regard. He can... Actually, more similar to Anubarak, I suppose, with, uh, instead of Beetles, little skeleton men. 
Kind so we see the dive in from Chen, ETC trying to push away the rest of the team to allow them to maybe get onto the Sonya, but she is just not dying. There's a big mosh coming out from Zami, but again, there's no follow-up because the rest of his team is scattered to the wind here. And 40 gems on Zami, that's a huge loss. Uh-huh. And we see the pings going out for the boss. Yeah, this is a big old boss for sure, Arrow. So right now, Regen Retro simply doesn't have any gems to turn in. The only thing they can do on the map is gather soak and uh, pick up this bruiser camp. Uh, but this boss pushing into the top lane with as strong as they've been on pushes is going to be uh, a big problem for Regen Retro. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it's definitely. I think this might be a keep. To, actually, oh, it's definitely a keep. There's going to be a push and a boss. Yeah, I, this could potentially even be game arrow if. They're not careful. Yeah, we, and we saw something like this in the in the last round. So, you know, depending on how this fight goes, if they get a good uh, CC or... Oh, man, if that tornado came a little bit closer, that would have been practically a lore NATO value pushing mm -hmm. uh, Sylvanas out of the wall, but it didn't. And we're getting the retreat pings. We get the flailing swipe, uh, wailing arrow going up. Again, this is only three of team training wheels. And look at this, Masama going down, Furiosia uh, popping the Dragon Queen, but Taronda goes down as well. And the rest of Retro is just getting obliterated. I think this is core arrow. The uh, the, the keep is, is going down here for sure. Still another... 10 seconds really until Gul'dan's here so with the web weavers coming in I don't see any way that uh, that Retro can defend this at this point no not particularly there's no horrify either to even mitigate the damage it's going down arrow holy cow no just a regular cow this game arrow oh yeah true my bad yeah mm -hmm. 10 minutes and 47 seconds Victory from Team Training Wheels on Tomb of the Spider Queen. Not something you see very often. No, uh, not particularly. Uh, I, I don't. I just think Region Retro wasn't prepared for the double healer Zool uh, wackiness that is Team Training Wheels. Or even that crazy Probius option, huh? Yeah, no, uh, apparently not. This off-meta stuff can really throw a wrench in plans if not dealt with properly. And, you know, we've discussed it on other streams, other casts, and, you know, really the uh, the value of some of these heroes that you don't see very often is not necessarily that they have to be any better than any other hero. It's just simply that the enemy team is not used to playing against them, not used to dealing with kind of their unique uh, structure, and it makes it more difficult to fight into, even if, it, you know... Gazlo is not a, a difficult hero to play against, but if your team isn't used to playing against Gazlo, you may ignore something that's important to their comp. Um, you know, even you know Ragnaros has been making more of a resurgence in in the uh, in the meta, quote unquote. I, I hesitate to even say that. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, well, we showed talents. We showed stats. I think we can go back to, to our oh my god what's wrong nothing nothing wreck nothing at all oh, okay let's give uh team training wheels their point there 2-0 victory over regen retro let's see that was uh tomb of the spider queen so if if you've been keeping track throughout the day here we've seen four regen games <laughs> Unfortunately, we have not seen oh. any regen wins. That's... You might want to turn your shirt around, Rack. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. You hate to see it, but you know what? Let's take really? a look at the standings here. Uh, standings, and I didn't highlight these teams, so let's go ahead and pop off those highlights. We've got Team Training Wheels after this game, sitting at number six, right behind Wholesome Halfwits and Lion Speed with 17 and 18 points, respectively. Uh, Regen Retro currently sitting at number eight. Not too far behind them are In Too Deep and Few Loose Screws and Team Happy Cloud. So that uh, top eight seeding for the playoffs 
is very close. And, uh, you know, I happen to, to know that there's a a big match coming up on Thursday, Rick. Oh, you don't mean what I think you mean. I mean the Regen Civil War. Regen, Regen Ghost War. versus retro, Regen Retro. Yeah. yeah. Regen Ghost versus Regen Retro, uh, starring such players as Ultanian, Zulcan, SHW33, you know, the the big the big boys and that's going to be a very important matchup for these teams is you know ghost sitting at seventh with 15 points retro sitting at four uh at eighth with 14 points uh both of these teams are going to be looking for those points to to keep them keep their playoff goals alive and uh you know try to keep them in maybe even both of them in the playoff contention yeah uh i, I mean who knows i, I i'm excited to see how it goes i uh, for obvious reasons but I, I it could go anyway or i'm excited absolutely well hey listen rec uh that's gonna wrap up our time here we've got one more match for the day coming up immediately after this cast that's gonna be a heroic division between archon and keanu reeves oh butte holiday will be joining me for that in a few moments here so uh rec anything you want to say to our good friends in twitch chat at home before you take off before i take off um well uh thanks for coming out guys it was fun i had i had fun even though i'm like half awake but that's okay um you can find me over at recycle here I'll, I'll just say here oops that's caps lock here um that's my channel i might uh, there's a chance i'm gonna start streaming my switch my nintendo switch soon maybe maybe so maybe i'll start doing that um but uh i'll have to check settings and stuff like that there's a chance i don't but yeah you can find me there um smile do you want me to smile again i'll do it in a minute um you can find me there that's my twitch if you want to follow me go ahead you don't have to i'm not going to force you to you could also follow arrow of the storm uh on his channel follow ngs do it all follow everyone don't follow me around though because that's weird all right well rec thank you very much for that uh everybody we'll be back in a few minutes here as we get set up for the fifth and the final match of the ngs rewind for the week here also in case you have something else to go do in the afternoon here uh i do have two casts coming up tonight we're gonna see a division d and also division b matches um and i would tell you the teams but i don't remember the division d one so i want to i want to make any mistakes there uh but you can catch those games at twitch.tv slash arrow of the storm uh we'll be back don't go anywhere <laughs>